Oh, oh my god. god. That's a f take. <laughs> What up y'all, kind of a weird intro. Thing is, I forgot to actually film this intro somehow. Anyways, Devin and I get out on the hot tamale again today. We hit a small pond that produced an absolute giant. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil too much. It's already spoiled. Devin brought in a huge fish, man. You gotta check this one out, it's pretty crazy. It happened towards the end of the evening. Stick around for this one. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So I'm making our first cast about 6.30 p.m. Starting off with a spinner bait, a little breezy little cloud cover see what happens they were hitting on this the last time i was here uh, which kind of means nothing different day different attitude with these fish but we'll see what happens devin is throwing the citizen she's throwing the big swim bait we're gonna see what we can't make happen out here tonight you guys Got one on the mission fish. Oh, no yep, this drag's not set either. This could be a good one, guys. We got one on the big mission fish swim bait. Here we go. This is a three or a four pounder, or maybe bigger. You got him. Nice. That's what we're talking about, y'all. Oh god, these <laughs> Oh man, that's my first ever catch on Devin's tranks right there. And also, this is on that mission fish. We just got these. Devin's gonna tell you all about them. Holy smokes. That's what we're talking about. Woo this is an interesting little bait. I'm gonna need those pliers. Here we go, guys. First ever catch on the 316 Mission Fish. Devin is gonna tell you more about this in just a second. Uh, we've been super hyped on these because of our buddy Jared Swafford down in uh, Austin, Texas. And let me tell you what, the thing is dope. I'm gonna let her explain it, but look at what we got on it. Just a few casts in, literally out here in the middle of nowhere, casting out deep, throwing the big old baits. And they're liking that white color out here. Devin said it, so let's put him in the live well. We're gonna see if we can't get a top five tonight for you. Sick. All right, you guys, so since I didn't talk about the other mission fish that uh, Weston just caught that fish on whenever I rigged it up, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all a little bit about this one that I'm gonna go ahead and rig up uh, on the other pole. We're gonna go ahead and rig it up on the Trinx 400 with that 13 fishing defy rod. It's gonna be much too big of a setup than what you're probably needing for any of these. The way that we rig it up is they go ahead and they supply you with the hook. So we're gonna go ahead and take that bad boy out. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, let me set that hook down and let's see if I can't do this first try. Do, 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 do. Uh, feed that right through there. Oh, sweet. It comes out right through the body of the bait. Give myself a little bit of slack and then we're gonna go ahead and just tie it on with whatever knot you prefer to tie on any of your baits tie 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 there we go so after you go ahead and tie that knot pull that hook back up into the body as far as it'll go by pulling on that and then what you're going to want to do since this is the first time ever rigging this guy up is figure out where the hook is going to need to protrude from on the body i'm going to go ahead and mark that with the top of my finger right there like you can kind of see hopefully hopefully the sun's not too bright and i kind of have to Maneuver this guy a bit, try and get it centered as much as possible, and ta-da, there we go. Check this out. This is going to be interesting with this reel that's totally not really made for this at all. <laughs> I mean, it's made for big baits, but you guys are going to get a kick out of this when I fish this thing like a Texas rig. On an eight foot heavy. Should be able to feel those bites. Gotcha. There we go. Yep. There we go. Finally, I waited a second. Oh, he might be. Oh, he's big. Weston, he's big. Oh. Weston, he's really big. Coming? Yeah. So. He's big. All right. Weston. Be ready. I'm bringing him up. I'm bringing him up. Weston. Get him. Oh my god. That's a <laughs> <dick>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out. Oh, right uh, now. I think this is maybe a this new... could maybe be a PB. 
Like this thing is huge. Weston, you, what's happening? Whoa! Oh, oh my god! That's a big fish, Devin. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Weston, <laughs> is this a seven? I, that could be a seven. <laughs> that did not just happen. That was such a subtle bite. It just like it almost felt like I was starting to go through grass. It wasn't like a hit, but I I felt like almost. I don't know, it was so hard to explain. It felt like a hit, but it didn't. It almost felt like maybe I was just going through some grass. So I just, I kind of cranked down a little bit more and I felt it get tight. But I think I saw my line kind of moving a little bit and I'm like, all right, it's not grass. Like that fish has it. And I went ahead and set that hook. Kind of probably should have set it harder for what it was, but it got her. Let's go ahead and get her weighed. Okay, here we go. All right, big girl. Oh, geez. All right. What are we looking at here? Oh, man. Oh, that's a big one, babe. Oh, <laughs> man, guys. Yo. Oh, okay. Oh, dudes. Tonight is all about new equipment. <laughs> Throwing these mission fish for the first time. They're so cool. Line through swim bait with that weight up front. So it's just popping like a Texas rig. I mean, super sick. And then Devin is throwing a saucy swimmer and just smoked that giant. Smoked her. And that's on these new underspin hooks we just picked up today. They're beast owner or owner beast hooks with an underspin. The six aughts are probably a standard weight here. I wanna say it's probably like a three eighths or something with that underspin blade. And that just crushed that almost six and a half pound monster out of this little lake, guys. Wow. I'm trying to think. I don't really know what to throw another one of those on because I'll do this. I think this is. Yeah, the water just started flowing again. Yeah, she's cool. Yep, she's cool. The hook, <clears throat> the hook is in that step. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of the magic sauce, y'all. Here's the deal. Owner flashy swimmer, six aught, three eighth ounce. So I don't think I was incorrect. I am going to put this on the Corrado DC. I'm trying to find a semi-stiff rod. That way I get a good hook set. These aren't light wire hooks. You need to be smashing them hook sets. So I think what I've got, I think this is a seven, six heavy. Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna get this tied on. Uh, I'm just gonna be throwing straight braids since that's what's on this reel that is with the appropriate rod necessary. Um, we got a lot of rods on deck, but it's either got stuff I want to leave on and not untie because it'll also work here if this doesn't fly or they are more like cranking style or maybe they're just like medium heavies or medium lights and I don't want to put this on that and jeopardize missing a big one because the hook set wasn't strong enough. So hell them are not cinched down. We actually just picked these up at Shields today too. Shields was so busy. I mean, packed. eight inch goby y'all that is exactly what done it and i think this color was hidden last time we were here too uh, a lot of stuff is sold out and like just completely off the shelves at a lot of these stores uh, i'm pretty sure i got these online but yeah this color has been slaying here although i don't think these bass are eating gobies this color seems to do quite well in pretty clear water so we're just rocking it oh yeah this looks deadly it's our turn let's get in there maybe make our way over to that point probably right off that hump so that's 40 feet ahead of us you can actually mark that spot. Mark. Gotcha. Big. No way. It might be. No way. Down. Oh, no, he's not. He's not big. Not big? Okay. No. <laughs> no. Wow. He's not big. Swimmer's killing it. He's not. Oh my gosh, it's another good one. Oh, oh. Come back. Get oh, out of here. Get in here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we would have a serious top five. Just as we were talking about maybe moving. Look at that. That dude was not going anywhere. That hook is in there. Goodness. Well, if we can get three more, then we can... Dang it, I feel bad because whenever I was putting big ol' mama... Uh -oh. Here, I'll get you on this. Go ahead and pause your clip. What's happening here? Dang it, guys. We'd start to have a pretty solid top five if we could get a couple more. But I let Weston's fish go as I was putting big mama in the well. 
has decided that it didn't want to be part of this boat life no more. <laughs> Pushing three. Let's go ahead and get him in the well. Hey, Mama. I have a friend. All right, had to go ahead and get get myself a new saucy swimmer. That guy uh, tore the bait off of the little screw on the front, so got a new one up. Let's go. Holy sh! The fish just jumped right there, and it was really loud, and it scared me. Well, we made it to the back here, y'all, where all the pads are. I'm tossing this frog around. No bites yet. Surprisingly, I don't know how I've never got a frog hit here. Look at this place, like super clear. Pads in the back. There's healthy grass. We know there's bass back here. We've caught them back here before. Sunset. Subtle. Not like super windy. How are they not hitting this frog? Just eat it. Did you have a bite? Yeah, I had a little one blow up on it. That might have been a freaking bluegill. Well, y'all, the evening bite did not really produce too much, so we're going to go ahead and uh, probably let Big Bertha go and head on out of here tonight at a reasonable time. 8.18 and the sun is setting y'all all right guys here is our final catches bye bud oh, i'm gonna dunk her yeah. what is that 20, 22 and, two and, a, and half. a half inch monster 